Hey everybody, it's Matthew back again for part 3 of the Forensic Toolkit series. Now in this video we're going to go over SQLite database parsers. So first of all, to start off, for those of you guys who are new to the whole SQLite database thing, SQLite databases are how phones and other devices that fit in your pocket store some types of data. So if I open Excel spreadsheet, which is something that I'm assuming that most of you guys know, just if I open a random blank Excel spreadsheet and make multiple sheets on this Excel spreadsheet, you can see that it's a bunch of rows and columns per sheet. Now, now say that this is our area, this is, this is our area. So it shows the name of the app, the place where it is, and other stuff about it. Or this shows a no the number of the app, the name of the app, and the place where it is. And now on sheet two, there's more data right here. So a column with, again, the number of the app, the date that the app was open, the date that the app was installed, the last date that it was opened, who owns the app, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Or something else right here. And so forth again, maybe a lot more data about the app on this sheet too. So, so if you use that idea, you can easily understand what an SQL database does. But it's just a fancier way of, a fancier structure, you could say, of organizing your data than an Excel spreadsheet. But the exact same concept of an Excel spreadsheet. Now, some tools that we can use to parse this on Windows are DB Browser for SQLite, which is the one that I'll be using today. And it looks something like this on the screen. So it's super easy to use, as you'll see. And it has all these features. But in order to get it, you click this link on the page that you went to go find it at. And you would click for the standard installer in your 64-bit system which you're most likely on right now, you click this one. And it'll download this file that you see right here. So once it does that, you can open it and install it. And once you do install it, you'll go to... You'll go to DB Browser for SQLite. And it'll open something like this, but maybe a little smaller since I have mine to open always to full window. But before we get into DB Browser for SQLite, I want to check out DBeaver, which is another type of SQLite database viewer. Now, in some cases, this may be a little bit more colorful than DB Browser for SQLite, and it also has a pro version to it. But again, this is very similar to the DB Browser for SQLite. Now there's other open source tools like this SQLite Walker by one of my favorite forensics people in the forensics industry, Kevin Pagano. And he's also partnered with Mark Sagan to make this. But SQLite Walker is a very cool script that looks for SQL, SQL databases and it queries the structure of it and outputs all the stuff on it to a file. And which is a very cool tool, by the way. And props to Kevin and Mark for making this tool. It's awesome.
Now back to DB Browser. Um, so with DB Browser, you have all this stuff up here, but what I like what I like you to do is go either to open database in this menu or simply click this button to open a database. So I'll share the link to this to I'm about to open for you. So I have this Apple iOS forensic image that I that I made. This Apple iOS forensic image that I made and put on Google Drive for everyone to see. So you're going to go to my Google Drive, download this one, extract it, extract the AFC backup folder, go into the new AFC backup folder, Go into iTunes, control iTunes, and open the media library dot SQLite for media the media library SQLite database folder. I mean database database. Now, and then when you click the Browse Data tab, the interesting thing is going to happen. So, so you know how I said that in our Excel spreadsheet, if we have a column to say the num the number of the app and the number of the app, it'll help us. That concept will help us with identifying all the information about an app. So in this case, with songs, music, or sound data, it does that same thing with this item underscore PID. If I go to the item table. Now we could always copy that item PID and go into something like item artist, for instance, and paste that and see that the artist the item doesn't have an artist. And if I go to another one, another one, an item, another item PID, if I copy that and go to item artist again, we'd see that it doesn't correspond to anything either. Now let's try that once again. I want to use a copy that. I want to copy that into item artist again. How about how about if we go to item extra? Copy, paste, copy that into item artist again. So how about, so we get deal, we get deal for this one. And if we copy this one into Item extra. The item PIDs are different, apparently. I'm going to try this again. So item... So we were going to try doing 
that should work if I do it by if I do it by the PID. But it doesn't seem to be working for me at the moment. So if we do the playback of that one, it it works. It works, so what it's supposed to that's what it's supposed to do. When you put a number in there and you try to query for it. It should show you just a row like that. So you could see again with item artist. When you see the item artist property, you can also you can also sort like that by the grouping key up or down or down down to up. And you can sort it in a bunch of number of ways. And if you just so happen to be adept at SQL query, querying, you can query directly and look for certain things, certain things in the database by issuing queries. Item order and item extra. That's probably this. So then, if we will go to into item extra and then place the PID in item artist, you should. Get something back with an artist. So item extra rainbow in the dark. That is a song by Dio. So you should get back the artist Dio. Oh, I see. This is album. This is by album. So if you go to item extra and then item playback. So yeah, it has data playback here. So it's a little bit confusing sometimes, but you know, you'll get it once you do it a little bit. So now for you to get some experience hands on with it, I'd like you to, if you choose, if you so choose to download the software, I want you to go to my iOS image again. I want to go. I want you to go to my iOS image again, which is right here in the Google Drive. You should see in this folder, and go to that exact file, which I will link the file name and the folder in the description. And I want you to open that again 
in here in your SQLite database viewer. And then once you do that, I want you to find cool facts about certain songs. I want you to an annotate the date that the most recent songs were put in this and listen to. I want you to see how many songs in this image are by the band Dio and the bands Dio, Kansas, and Celtic Woman. And after you do all those things, I hope you got yourself a good knowledge of how to use or the basics of how to use as an SQLite database viewer, which is something that you'll be doing a lot throughout the process of doing this forensics course that I'm about to teach. So with that out of the way, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys learn something new. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.